Alright guys, Pterodactyl here and today we're going to go through another dev briefing to see what new stuff the developers have got in store for us. So first up, they've released a small hotfix to the game, which has fixed the servers not showing up in the server browser. You, you may have not known this, but some servers were, were just randomly not showing up in the server browser. So you may have been wanting to play on your favourite server and it may have disappeared from the browser, but now it should be back. No idea what the bug was, but they put this out and yeah, we've now got a fix for it. Next up, got some more information on the VoIP issues that are plaguing the game right now. They've said that some issues in the back end at the server side have been fixed, which should stop the VoIP like dropping out during the game. But for the actual full resolution, they're still working at it, but they're getting close to it. So hopefully once they get this fixed, we can get a small hot fix and that'll be it. We won't get this VoIP issue anymore. Next up we have information on the tank machine gun hit registration bug. So currently tanks in the game use the pre-ballistic update way of calculating where the bullets are going to land, where it essentially draws a line from where the tank, you know, the tank's gun is to where the bullet will land and it just sort of almost like delays the bullet hitting that point. It's like a very old school way of calculating where a bullet will land. Um, but when the ballistics update came in, you know, there would actually be a bullet that would actually travel and hit the target. You know, it's, it means the server has to do a lot more calculations for it instead of this old uh, you know, hit scan way of doing things. But for tanks, they left it as the old school hit scan because of the extra load it could put on the servers. But this was causing bugs depending on where you would hit certain infantry from different angles and stuff. So what they're going to be doing in update 9 is changing it from the old hit scan way of doing things to the current new way of the ballistic system for infantry weapons. So really for tank players you're not really going to notice that much difference when shooting the machine guns but you'll probably get a few more kills here and there because you're actually going to hit your targets when you should be. Next up the devs have found bugs with HE shells in tanks. So What's been happening is when a HE shell you know, hits a target, the damage from that HE shell could potentially be blocked by very small items, you know, like a tiny, like a bit of a tree or a tiny bit of a rock or maybe even like a stone or something small like that. It's been blocking the damage, so you could have a HE shell land right next to you and not hurt you or kill you at all when your ally next to you could die. So what the devs have done is changed how the damage is sort of calculated based on the surrounding geometry and the surrounding objects for where the HE shell lands. So it'll fix this bug. So what tank players should notice now is they'll be probably getting more kills with HE shells and it'd be a bit more consistent when using you know, HE shells. I think I've come across this bug a few times where I've had people just you know, die next to me from an explosion but I've been completely fine. So it'd be good that they're going to put this consistency back in the game. And next we've got an update on the grass loading. And this bug has been in the game for quite a while now, you know, pre-update 8, and we really do need it fixed. I think everyone's kind of sick and tired of the grass just not loading. Like when you spawn in, there's no grass. What I've been doing is when I spawn in like a wheat field or near a wheat field, I'll quickly spin and check out that field to see if there's any enemies coming through it and then gun them down because the grass isn't loaded up yet. So what the devs have done is that they've optimized a lot of their code which handles how the grass has been loaded and they're seeing significant improvements about how this is loaded. It looks like what the game was or is currently doing is that when you die, it force unloads the grass from like the game and then when you spawn back in it then reloads it. How the game is now going to operate is that the grass will now no longer unload when you die. So it should always sort of still be loaded in the game ready to you know be rendered I guess or just be there ready for when you like look towards it. So this is coming in update 9. Are you I was kind of hoping this would come in a small hotfix because it's it's kind of a big issue but it's good to get this finally fixed and next we're getting fixes for tanks and this is a long list of issues um, such as maneuverability hitboxes damage uh, non-penetration effects you know, 
weird hitbox issues which are causing one-shot kills, you know, physics issues, reticles not being aimed up correctly. They're, there's a lot of issues and they're trying to work their way through them and they are getting through them. Um, essentially, there's going to be a lot of fixes going in to make tanks work properly. I am not a tank player myself, so I can't really comment on how big of an issue this is. But I do see a lot of comments from yourselves saying, you know, fix the tank issues. So hopefully in update 9, you're going to notice fixes and things are going to work as they should. And tank play will be a bit more consistent. But one little line in here is uh, they've actually announced that more tanks are coming to the game. They said the Panzer IV is definitely coming in. And the Stug, which I think they've announced previously, is coming and more Sherman variants are coming into the game. Whether they come in update nine, you know, who knows, but maybe, we never know. And next up, getting some more optimizations. They haven't really said what these are gonna be in update nine. They've said that because they've changed some systems in the game, such as the weapon overhaul and the grass changes, this is increased performance. And this weapon overhaul, uh, the new uh, weapon models that will be coming into the game, that's, that's what I'm assuming they're referencing here. But there's going to be more coming in update 9. But it'd be good to get some more information on what that's going to be. Now the devs said they're going to be putting in some like some sort of tutorial or tips for the game. Whether these are just like loading screen tips or or hopefully like a tutorial like offline level. Like a shooting range, obstacle course, stuff like that. Which I really think they should put into the game. I think everyone wants that. They've said that this, this sort of stuff has been on the back burner while they've been getting... Yeah, most of the other games sorted out, so hopefully we'll be getting something in the game soon. And Update 9 is going to include more languages for the game, so a lot of the in-game text, the in-game field manual will actually be you know, continually updated with correct information, but also in different languages. So it'd be good to you know, get this game out to you know, more countries around the world. I know recently there's been an influx of Chinese players coming in, so there's going to be more, more support for their language, I guess, coming in. And lastly, we get a look at the Russian summer field uniform, which was in use from 1940 to 1943. So to me, this pretty much confirms that the Eastern Front is coming in update nine. Because why, why else would they be giving us and giving these little sneak peeks of the Eastern Front before update nine? You know, just imagine if they were giving us all this information, you know, they've been showing off little bits of the levels in the recent like MG34 update and um, we have seen a Russian tank in the background in one of the screenshots as well and now we're getting screenshots of the Russian uniform imagine if we got all that plus other information we're going to get in future dev briefings and then not get the Eastern Front in update 9 yeah you know, what else are we going to get you know everything we've got so far points to like the MG34 and that's it you yeah, imagine if update 9 was in terms of new content the mg34 and that's it that'd be really disappointing so yeah to me this says that the eastern front is definitely coming in update 9 and that's it for this dev briefing so we get you know we've got a look at the russian summer field uniform the panzer 4 stug and more shermans are coming and get some several fixes in so update 9 if it does include the eastern front it's going to be a huge game changing update for Hell Let Loose and I am really looking forward to it. So thank you guys for watching.